what a morning. Take a look at the moon right there. The sky is just... Wow. It's minus 13 degrees celsius and it's pretty cold i can see deer it's very far away but <sighs> come on i hope it can just walk oh, it's cold it walks in the right direction. No, turn back. Turn to the right, please. Oh, there's two of them. Unfortunately, there's a lot of, like a fence in, in the way, but <laughs> I don't want to pass here because it's not, <laughs> I haven't asked them, so. Oh no. I'm gonna try to past this house here and get down in the field and hopefully when the sun is like above the horizon I uh, maybe can find some some deer or something we'll see There's a lot of deer. Look at this. We're getting a little bit of a better view of the deer, but they've seen me, so they're probably won't stick around for too long. The light. Just wow. I can hear a raven. I can see it. Oh, nice. Wow, how the sky, the colors, <laughs> that is very nice. <clears throat> so look at how frozen it is. Slice away, crap. I missed it. My camera wanted to focus on <laughs> on the Ian, as it's called in Swedish, in front of me. And I missed it. And there's the deer. I wonder if we can get low, like get <laughs> there must be like 30 of them. That's insane. I think my neighbor is actually putting out food for them when it's this cold, so it's nice of them. Uh, I can see there's one of them having very big antlers. I'm just showing you what it looks like. Well, the 
color of the sky is just phenomenal. Look at this. It's pretty deep. Okay, I can still see the moon. It would be pretty cool to have a shot with something in the foreground, but then I need to get down there because obviously the moon is too high up in the sky. It must be 30, 35 centimeters of snow. My plan is to take the car to a hiking trail that I've never been to, but it's obviously a bit of gambling because the light is on its way up now. And I don't know how it looks there, if it's like the sun comes through enough. And uh, it's definitely a bit of gambling, but I think I might go because there's a 20 minute ride and the sun will be just above the horizon when I get there, so... Yeah... I think people don't really talk about a lot, but... The photography, landscape and wildlife photography, it's all about taking decisions and... Sometimes you take the wrong decisions, and sometimes you take the right ones. There's always this kind of gambling going on. Maybe we can get... <sighs> oh. I think it's time to get back before I miss the, the light. I'm actually really happy with that raven photo. I think the sky turned out fantastic. Well, I got an idea. That is to when the sun is getting above the horizon, I'm gonna try to get some photos at my bird feeder before I go. because I strategically placed my bird feeding station so I have like backlit sun when, when the sun goes up. So I'm gonna try to get, get some photos, but we'll see. I can't get over how good the light is. It's beautiful. And again, we have the, I think it's called Rhyme Ice. <laughs> I discussed that in my last video. I said rim frost, but that's the Swedish word for it. We can go for pretty high ice, so that doesn't really matter nowadays. I want the sun, so I'm gonna try to place myself somewhere here. Ah, just wait. Yeah, that light is beautiful. Crap. He perched exactly where I wanted to and I missed it. I should have the tripod now because then the camera is always fixated ready. I don't have to worry about movements and so on but I'm lazy. I'm gonna do it handheld. 
but I'm gonna move myself just a little bit. Okay, found the perfect stick. I saw a blue tip perch right there, so they might do it again. Then we have a shot that is very nice. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, almost. Let's see if we're sharp. Need a faster shutter speed. Okay, let's crank up the ISO. I really want this shot. Please. I should really get the tripod. That will up my chances a lot because I'm not strong enough to like hold this <laughs> steady for like 10 minutes. My back hurts too much. So if I just get a tripod, I'm able to just point the camera at the stick and wait. That's definitely worth it. Let's go grab the tripod. <laughs> So a lot of you have asked me what tripod I use. So for filming and many times photography as well, I use the, what's the name again? The Serui R3213X. As a tripod head, I have the BCH10, which is a broadcasting head. So it's a video, like fluid video head. And I'm really happy with it. It works fantastically good. This. Oh. Let's get this bad boy up. Look at that. That is fantastic light. Oh my god. Now we just need the little birdie. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that great? Begging you to perch. Come on. The sun is moving. Slowly, but pretty quickly anyway. I, I need to get this shot. I'm just going to wait. This is... This needs to happen. <laughs> oh, he perched on the stick, but way too far down. My knees are very cold. So the sun is like slowly, slowly getting out of frame. So I think I have about maybe 10 minutes or something. Then we are, then the sun is gone at least. But I think the light will be pretty good anyways. But but you can look, oh, there's a white tail eagle. Look at that. Oh, let's get it in frame. I think we can say that the... Oh. <laughs> that was so quick. First a white-tailed eagle, then a blue-tailed perch in the, the branches behind. It's so cold. Ah. I got the shot. <laughs> Yay. Wow, that light is beautiful. Just wow. I'm very pleased with that one. Nice. Ah. I wonder if I should be happy with that because I have another location to go to, but it hurts. <laughs> it hurts to leave this light. But honestly, the good thing about Sweden this time of year, the, the few times when it's sunny, the sun is going pretty low all day. So we basically have golden hour for, for maybe 
six hours. So <laughs> I should definitely not complain. Maybe one more shot, just one more. Okay, the light is freaking stunning. I can't leave this. <laughs> oh, I'm very happy. No, I have a branch in <laughs> in the way. Okay, I I need to stay just for a little bit. Oh, those frozen. It honestly looks like a freaking Disney movie. I forgot to take my jacket off in the car, so I got all toasty and warm, and now when I go outside, I'm super cold. Rookie mistake. Oh, there's a great hit up there in beautiful light. I went to that place that I talked about, and it turned out that there was no frost whatsoever at the spot. So I decided to get back. So this is actually near my home. So uh, <laughs> I burned 40 minutes in the car. So stupid. So <laughs> yeah, as I talked about earlier this morning, making decisions. And sometimes you do the right ones and sometimes you don't. I guess this was a bad decision going. But yeah. Wow. I love the frosty vibe. This is how winter should be. Like many times we only have gray, brown, green, I don't know very very boring so this is how it should look like in my opinion so i think we should get in here somewhere in that forest right there oh crap you know what i forgot ah no i forgot the the shoulder strap so <laughs> no i can't carry two cameras but yep that's how it is we're gonna switch lenses we have the 14 millimeter 1.8, the A7C Mark One. I think I'm walking on water because it's ice and I can hear it crack, but it should be fine. How about this? is sketchy. <laughs> oh, no, this doesn't work. I can't walk on this. Way too sketchy. Where is it? Kind of sounds hollow when you walk on it, so that is sketchy. Ah, oh, it's way too much money in my hands to drop in water. Like it has been like minus 25 degrees for a couple of days. <laughs> it's been incredibly cold, so it shouldn't be a problem. Okay, 
think it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Well, good to know. I can hear a woodpecker. Can I get over? Well, that's something. I like those little bumps. I was fooled. It kind of looks like a snowy owl is sitting, <laughs> looking at me on the ground. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That would have been something for the books. This is such a good hunting spot for owls. I wonder if there has been anyone like hunting here. And honestly, if not, impossible because because if if we look at the i'm gonna call it sticks because i don't know what english word for it but they cut down tree stumps or what do you call it look at these ones these are obvious that there's a lot of snow on them on them nothing has been sitting there for a couple of weeks but if we take a look at some other ones the snow has been cut off or it could just have blown blown away so probably it's just the wind but who knows might be a spot for owls because this is high grass under here and pretty wet so it's a very a very good location that tree is just stunning it's pretty nice could this also be a sign i don't know it's just a guess, but see the tip is broken in half. Maybe something has been here. I don't know. That is one frozen tree. 
wow. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.